Welcome back. Today we continue our uh, our course in System Design Fundamentals. Today we will talk about the multi master database. So let's say that we have um, this system set up. We have a server and we have a database, and the server trying to store and uh, request a read and write request to the database. And our database right now can handle that much of load. So let's say that we have multiple servers continue uh, uh, like an instance that are trying to connect with the database and the database right now cannot cannot handle all of that load and also the database cannot uh, can uh, cannot uh, handle uh, the um, and that many data so in in order to fix this problem in the previous video we talked about that we can use a master slave database uh, which is uh, great if our system is read heavy system so basically we have one master to support all the read uh, the read uh, uh, the, the write requests oh sorry sorry and oh why why oh. and we have like a slave db slave db is two uh, and we just maybe can have multiples slave db to support the uh, the read the read operation but what we will do is our, if our system is uh, write heavy sensitive so we, we, we care more about the write and we care on the same out the read but it's important to have w more than one database to uh, uh, have the, re uh, the write um, request the, the, the write operation so in order to distribute all the incoming load we will have something we call a multi-master database so let's say that in this example we have three masters database and um, each master support both read and write requests and um, every master every master when every master gets uh, a new update it will replicate all the data to the other two masters and the same thing for the master two and the same thing for the master three um, but it looks quite complicated so let's just try to talk about it easily because there is we will have a conflict uh, data pr problem because uh, as you can see that we have uh, we have um, like the master one trying to make a replication to master two and master two will make a replication as well to master one so if both of them edit the same data in the same time and try to uh, and try to uh, 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 replicate the data to each other we will have a conflict um, so let's talk about what is a master database and how we can solve the conflict. So a multi-master database is a configuration in database replication where there are multiple data, uh, database servers, each, um, each, uh, each of which can act as both a master and a slave. In this setup, any of the database's servers can accept both read and write operations. Multi-master databases are designed to provide uh, several benefits, including improve, uh, improved write scalability, high availability, and fault tolerance. Uh, so basically, if we have one, the one master went down, we have the other two masters will 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 continue to support the reader write. If we have all of them went down, we will still have one. So basically, right now we available all the time. We have a high availability. We can scale. We can add more uh, masters. Uh, so we make sure that we can handle more and more load. Um, um, we 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 have uh, we are available all the time because we have must multiple uh, multiple. Uh, uh, servers working with each other so we make sure that we will not have any downtime um, let's talk about how it works so first we have a multi-master server so in, in, in the multi-master configuration there are uh, multiple database uh, servers often referred to as uh, nodes each node is both master and slave meaning it can accept both read and write operations um, we have bi uh, bi-directional replication, so uh, the data changes made on the master uh, node are replicated to all the other master nodes. This replication uh, process is typically uh, bi bi uh, bi uh, bi-directional, meaning that data changes uh, can flow in both directions between any pair uh, of master nodes. So right now the master go like this and it will get again so as you can see we have one flow one direction one direction so another one one another one so it goes both ways 
Um, let's talk about the conflict resolution. Like since multiple nodes can accept right operations, conflicts can occur when two or or more nodes uh, simultaneously receive conflicting changes to the that the same data. And conflict resolution mechanism are required to handle such a situation and uh, maintain uh, the con data consistency. We will make a dedicated video talks about specifically how the conflict resolution work. But you can just know right now that we have conflict resolution. Maybe you can use versioning. We use coordinator. We can use uh, um, multiple different stuff. Um, let's talk about the benefits. So the benefits. Um, uh -huh. So uh, the first one I would like to talk about is, as you can see right now, the all nodes support write, the write operations, all of them. So we have a write scalability here. So uh, the multi-master database excel and at improving the write scalability since write operations can distribute it across multiple nodes. They can handle a higher volume of write uh, of writes compared to a single master configuration. And the second thing that we could talk about is high availability. Oh no. So, a uh, multi master database enhances high availability by allowing read and write operations on any of the nodes. If one node fails, the others uh, can continue to serve, request uh, reducing downtime. Uh, we have load balancing. So, basically, um, read request can, distributed, can be distributed um, among multiple nodes balancing the load the read load and the write as well and improving uh, read scalability we have the um, active um, active architectures which we call active active architecture so um let me so in this one uh, multi master database are well suited for active active architectures where different nodes can serve different parts of the application or user base uh, concurrently um, let's talk about some considerations uh, that um, we could face. The first thing that we could talk about the uh, conflict resolution. So um, the conflict resolution mechanism are essential to ensure data consistency when multiple nodes accept uh, concurrent write operations implementing uh, effective conflict resolution can be uh, quite complex and we will talk we will make dedicated videos talks about how conflict resolution work and what this mechanism and how we solve this problem of consistency um, we will talk about the data consistency by itself so um, like achieving data consistency in multi-master setup can be challenging, especially in scenarios with uh, frequent conflicts. Care for uh, design and planning are required. We should uh, be quite uh, careful here. Uh, the other thing that we could talk about the complexity because it's quite complex. Multi-master uh, configuration are more complex to set up and manage and maintain compared to a single master or even the master slave configuration. Um, we have the latency and the network. Uh, so uh, let me just. So um, replication can uh, replication replicating data between uh, uh, geographically distributed nodes can uh, introduce network latency and uh, synchronization delays. Um, I guess the last thing that we can talk about like uh, operational uh, challenges like uh, managing the schema changes, software updates and monitoring and can be more challenging with the multi with the uh, uh, multi master environment. Um, let's talk about the use cases. So basically, um, the multi master database are used uh, in situation where write scalability and high availability and uh, geographic distribution are crucial requirements. They are um, suitable for applications that need to handle a large volume of writes, um, have a distributed user base, or require uh, minimal downtime. So um, examples of, 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 of multi um, master database systems include some distributed uh, NoSQL databases such as 
Cassandra, Apache Cassandra and uh, uh, Couchbase as well as uh, certain configurations of uh, MySQL and Postgres databases with multi master extension or uh, clustering solution. So um, that's it for today's video and I hope you like my content. If you like my content, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video and see you guys in future problem.